have a little bit different story than most. Started bowling at the age of 10. I always kind of doubted myself when I was younger. I didn't think I could compete against the professionals at, at the top level. And uh, I mean, he, for me, I even bowled some of the Mega Buck amateur tournaments and never made it out. So uh, I always doubted myself. Family and friends that were behind me and supported me and I continued to go and then boom, things started to domino. Today I throw 15 pound balls because I believe with 15 you actually kind of want the ball to deflect to create the proper angles through the pins. My favorite layouts are a little different depending on what type of ball I'm putting them in. Um, for me asymmetricals, I like to keep them all in line. Uh, when I say that, the pin and the mass bias keep them in line with my grip line. Favorite bowling ball of all time, uh, I mean there's, there's a few that kind of come to mind but the one that really sticks out is the one that helped me win player of the year in 2008-2009 and that's going to be a Rotogrip Cell Pearl. Uh, that ball was just phenomenal, I was able to use it on many many different lane patterns. It seemed like I used the ball every week and that was the only ball I used. So, I am a silver certified USBC coach. One of the biggest things that, that I teach when I coach is basically set up and finish. You want to set up how you basically finish. You want to set up head, ball, and your right foot basically. And if you think about it, when you're in your finish position, your head is on top, your ball is directly below it, and below that, if your right foot was standing there, it would be, your ball would be traveling right through that point. put your mind to something and you want to do it, you, it can be done and I think that's exactly what happened with me.